So it's very interesting to see how much we're suffering with sleep deprivation as a society. Now we see that not only adults are suffering with sleep loss, but also children. Sleep serves a multitude of functions, improves your immune system, it has the system that we call the glymphatic system, which is similar to the lymphatic that we have in our bodies. So the brain clears out toxins and other products that really are not necessary or maybe even impairing brain function. If people are not getting the proper amount of the quality of sleep they get, we're very concerned that the brain may be accumulating toxins. So I would say it's important for people to understand themselves. Some people are night owls, others are morning people. So try to understand what is your best time of sleep and try to allocate your sleep to that window as much as possible. The second is to keep that regular because our body doesn't know Monday from Sunday. And the third aspect is really to avoid excessive stimulus when the body is getting ready to sleep. And that could be environmental, could be light, could be noise, could be caffeine, or could be any other stimulus that people are ingesting or heavy foods, heavy meals. All of that can serve as, as a stimulus. I think technology is amazing. We just need to know how to use it in order not to impair our sleep. There's a statistic that says that only 10% of people have sleep on their schedule. And that probably means they kind of sleep, you know, whenever. And that's really not the answer. That's not how the body was made for. We really need to keep a structure.